And hello everybody, welcome to another video by That One Gamer. So, we've done a playthrough of Mushroom Cup, Flower Cup, and Star Cup. Now, time for the final cup. Special cup. I about to say extra cup there. <laughs> There's no extra cup in this one. Or anyone for that matter. And this time... I'm going to be DK, and if you haven't noticed, I was playing a playable character that has a track in that particular cup. Alright, special cup. Probably the hardest cup overall, naturally. Although Rainbow Road isn't as tough as... In fact, probably the easiest Rainbow Road in all of Mario Kart, now that I think about it. DK's Jungle Parkway. This one actually has a shortcut, but it's behind the finish line a little bit. I'll show you later on. For some reason, it's always slower for the countdown on the lights there on this particular track, at least on the N64. And for whatever reason, DK, his... Uh, motor sounds different compared to the other characters. And there could, I don't know if that was intentional or not, or if they were all originally designed to have a different sounding motor, or what the deal was. Take that. So, but uh, in any event, Donkey Kong, in my mind, is the second heaviest character in this game. Able to spin out anybody else with the exception of Bowser, from his just from his own weight. And there, back there, I'll try to show it again next time I go to the tunnel, because that's where you have to do the shortcut. You have to, just before you exit the tunnel, you have to like jump in between the cave walls in such a way as to land into the water at a certain angle, or if you're really, really lucky, oops, Ah, oh, crap. Dang it. If you're really lucky, you'll be able to land inside the cave without having to land into the water, and yet the shortcut will have worked. This mode here, as I mentioned before, huh, lightning bolt in second place, is very helpful in determining if you actually got the shortcut or not after you made the attempt. I'm going to save this lightning bolt for the ramp up ahead, so I better change my viewpoint to this, so I know when he is about to cross. Yes, hopefully he's not invisible at the time. And now. Get away from me, bitch. Because <laughs> if you're small and you hit that, you will not be able to make it. And for some reason, that ship, if you hit, like, the dock of it, or whatever, uh, the I'm not sure what term to use for it, but if you hit it at a certain part of it, like the main floor or whatever, you'll actually hit it, and you'll fall into the water, and you'll have to go over the ramp again. And I can never understand how the physics work there. Go away. Alright, so you would jump that part right there on the left. So... But it's really hard to do, and it takes a lot of practice just to get it once, and even more practice to try to do it consistently. And I can tell you, I cannot do it consistently. So, I believe I did create a video of actually how to do the shortcut, so you can check out my prior videos on that. And I also forgot to mention that I did make a prior video of where all the shortcuts are in Wario Stadium. Because I found like four of them. Actually, one of them my cousin found. It was the one with the jumping the arrows just after that big dip downward. It was like the third possible shortcut of the four. Yoshi Valley, there's like two shortcuts. But one of them requires a lot of uh, practice, which involves somehow like jumping into the canyon from the start line. And then, yeah, jumping over the canyon in the start line and hitting it such a way so that you advance a lap or so. But it's really hard to do. It's much easier for me, at least, to go 
to end up right here, like hopping down from that higher part of the cliff to this lower part. But that even self takes a lot of practice, especially in 150cc. And in case you haven't noticed, all the icons are question marks because the game is confused enough that it doesn't know who's in first. You can actually tell if you're in first, obviously there, when I cross the finish line, it reached the top left corner there. Also on this view, if you're in first, then your icon will be flashing. Otherwise, if it's not flashing, it'll be somewhere else. Oof, that was close. Oof. I don't need that red shell. I'm in first place, and I got three green shells. And I have two green shells. Oof. I run into that egg and you get squished. Ah, just somewhat of a leisurely drive here, although it looks like someone is catching up to me. Someone put a fake item on me over there. Is Toad right behind me? Is that you, Toad? Where'd you go, Toad? You coming after me? Okay, I like to take this path of all the paths in this track because there's it's pretty short, maybe not the absolute shortest, but it's very easy to avoid all the necessary obstacles. From the oh it's Yoshi. Go away. <laughs> and fire. Haha, <laughs> oops. I meant to hold that. Well, thankfully it didn't cost me anything. And then you'll... S and then it'll reveal who was where once you cross the finish line. This game, On Up. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but this game, On Up, people, wherever they finish from the time you cross the finish line is where the game says that's where they finished, even though it is possible where that is absolutely not the case. It's really frustrating to me. I really wish in future versions they would like wait 10 to 15 seconds after you cross the finish line for all the other players to excuse me, cross the finish line from there. That way is a better accuracy as to who finished what place. Banshee Boardwalk. Basically a ghost track from first Mario Kart. Oh, this one has a lot of tricky 90 degree or even Sharper turns than that. Okay. Go away, Yoshi. Oh, hi, Wario. And I fall. Let's see if I can catch up. You want to hold the A button about a split second before your tires hit the ground so that we can get a slight boost acceleration. Go away, Bowser. It's a bit harder on like the ice courses when you fall into the water because there's like a split second delay. Oh, there we go again. I might have to do this track twice. <laughs> I like how you have unlimited continues, at least in this game, compared to the first one where it was limited. Dang it. Ah. Oh, lightning bolt. Triple mushrooms is not what I wanted. That was one time where I was glad that I did not continue forward after hitting a banana peel. Notice how I'm able to catch up to second place, but not first place. Yoshi is just way out in front. Unless he hits an item like twice in succession, it's going to be impossible for me to keep up because of the type of AI in this game. Ah. Dang it. Ugh. Still not used to all these controls. See a Wario there, apparently had a mushroom. Whew. That was close. Oh, now I get a bunch of banana peels. How nice. This is the only game in Mario Kart history that I know of where you can uh, have more than five banana peels. Oh! Oh, I snuck behind him and <laughs> barely took first place. Holy crap, I can't believe I came back to get first. Ooh, 
I got lucky. Oh, Yoshi managed to hit something, allowing me to catch up. Even though with triple red shells, I don't know what happened. Like, I hit one item, I saw that. Maybe my second shell hit the barrier guardrail? I might have to see what the heck happened there. But, uh, yeah. All right. I got first place again. <laughs> All right. Now, now it doesn't matter. As long as I get fourth or higher, I win. Now, this one, you can... Obviously, the big shortcut is to hop over this big downward hill here to the left and land over there on that track. Although it takes tremendous accuracy to do, and depending on what speed you are, also changes how far you're going to travel. Because I cannot, I believe it is physically impossible to land on the other side in 50cc, but I could be wrong there. So I can do a banana peel trick. Oop. I got but no I did it. You see where Yoshi got spun out there? There's a possibility someone else will hit that same banana peel. Oh, Peach got hit by the Spanky, as I like to call him. It's something that my brother nicknamed him. Chain Chomp is its real name. On this curve here, if you keep doing this uh, drifting technique where you get a speed boost, because you are able to see the AI you'll be able to actually gain some distance from them or catch up to them if you're behind. It's one of the rare instances where that's possible, and the computer player will slow down as a result. Ooh, we've got a ghost. Haven't had a ghost in a long time. And if my memory serves me correctly, this is the last time you get to use ghost items in this game. You become invisible but also invincible at the same time. You just get no speed boost, and you can steal a random item. Or actor, no, that's not quite accurate in this. You don't steal an item. You just get a basically a bonus item sometimes. Uh, hi, Wario. Oh, Yoshi came back. I always love the music of this one. It's like, I actually have this on my... Uh, MP on my phone, actually, not my MP3 player. Very peaceful and calming, I believe. There's one of those rainbow circle things from Mario Kart, or uh, Mario, Super Mario 64. There we go, that's what I was trying to say. Ooh, a bunch of banana peels. Hopefully that'll slow him down a bit. So here's where you would end up if you do it normally from that shortcut. It's, I've seen some videos, though, where they take a much sharper angle, and they can end up right here on this curve part, here or so. Very, very difficult to do. Ah, darn it. I wanted to avoid the banana peel. I'm going to fire this forward. I don't think I need a red shell. Again, if you're in 1st place, or 6th, 7th, or 8th place, it will follow the track like normal. Of course, if you're 1st place, it has no one to hit, so it'll just keep on going until it hits something. So, and uh, once I get a minute, I'll show us another slight feature here. Not slight feature, but a feature that I don't use. If you press the C up button... You can zoom out a little bit and press it again to zoom back in. I never understood quite the point of it. For some reason, when you have a banana peel, you actually zoom out. And you can even zoom out even more. But I never figured out if there was an actual use to it. Get out of my way. Go away. <laughs> Whee! Poop. <laughs> All right, one more lap. Of course, in the Mario Kart 8 version, this one long lap is broken up into three sections, so it's not make it so frickin' long to play. Sometimes I don't mind, sometimes I do, with how long or short it is. Ha ha ha, because I was in second place when the item stopped, I got triple red shells. I'll just hang on to it, because he's probably just going to catch up to me, and uh, I'd have to hit him again one more time to prevent him from passing me at the finish line. Oh, there's me! 
Oh, your uh, toad got hit by a chomp chomp, or maybe got hit by a fake item. You can also notice, sometimes they'll hit like a fake item or chain chomp, but their character icon will only go up for a little bit and pause, as opposed to like shaking up and down three or four times. And that's another cheap AI thing. It's really, really annoying. It's really to the unfair advantage to the AI as a result. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, boys. Oh, Yoshi hit a banana peel, and you hit one of my shells. Who's going to get second? Will it be Wario, or will it be Yoshi? And it's going to be Wario. <laughs> I think he I think he passed me just after I crossed the finish line. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Special Cup on the N64, only by 0.23 seconds. All right, well, hope you enjoyed the video. Probably wasn't all that exciting compared to the other ones, other than maybe Banshee Boardwalk, but, uh, yeah. So, maybe I'll do another playthrough. I d also, I deliberately chose a middleweight or a heavyweight character so as to... Make it a little more difficult on me because Yoshi, Toad, and Peach, they do uh, travel faster than all of the other five characters. But I think Yoshi is the ability to spin out Toad, like from those rocket boosts at the beginning of the track. So if Toad is directly in front of you and you don't hop over him, he'll probably spin out if you hit him as Yoshi. So... Maybe a little tip for next time you're playing. So, But, uh, again, hope you enjoyed the little video. I'm not sure what next game I'm going to do. This is mainly just a filler thing also to get myself back in the groove of recording videos. So, Maybe give me a suggestion or two, whether it's a retro game or maybe GameCube, Wii. So, I'll, I'll have to think about it, so. Again, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, see you all next time.